Hey guys, it's Matt Golden from Gamers Cast, and this is my final part of the Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1 walkthrough. Um, we're in the egg station zone right now, and um, this was a very interesting part to film and record, namely because I believe if I counted correctly, it took me about 38 tries to do this correctly. So um, this is the um, winning run. This is the run that actually did it right. If you look at the bottom corner, I actually had to hoard up on lives because I got a game over with the other run, and I actually got an achievement for it, because I stocked up on so many lives, I mean, Casino Street Zone Act 2 is probably the greatest thing ever if you want free lives, and that's what I did, I just played that like a dozen times and I got this many lives, because those card games are ridiculous. Anyway, um, as you can probably tell here, um, the last, um, boss for Sonic 4 Episode 1 is very much like the ending to most Mega Man games. Um, basically, you're pit up against every single boss from the entire game. And, except those spikes usually aren't as spontaneous in the original run, I don't think. But basically, you have to run through all these guys and beat them. Um, as you can see, this is the Casino, um, Casino Street Zone boss. And, yep, waiting for the door to open, but still can't get in, that's fun. Um, I really hate doing post-commentary like I'm doing right now, but the thing is, I virtually had to do it because it, so many takes were taken that it was like, the reason that I like live commentary sort of went away, the essence of it went away. So here we have the um, third boss from the Lost Labyrinth Zone, and this Eggman, literally all these bosses are the exact same except some graphical changes, I mean sprites were changed a bit, well not, well they're not sprites anymore, but, um, Basically, it's like has the space aesthetic to it rather than um, a labyrinth, ancient type of thing. And these battles are just as straightforward as they were originally, except um, for the oh my god, did I die here? Wow, that was lucky. Um, I was gonna say I could have sworn I was editing a winning run. Okay, I oh yeah, now I remember. I pulled just to itch my head, or was it my eyebrow? Doesn't matter. So basically, there really is no strategy. This one just follow where Eggman's going and hop your way up for it and then after each boss you defeat you get a checkpoint and yeah that's that so here we go we're on our way to the fourth boss this one gave me a bit of difficulty if memory serves so I'm not sure if I'm gonna you know what I'm just gonna leave it in because this video is gonna be shorter than most of the other ones so um this one, I don't think it gave me too much trouble, actually. I think I might have died. No, wait, actually, I think I did die. I don't really remember. But basically, it's just, um, this whole boss fight is a matter of loosening up on the controls. Like, loosening up just to be like, oh, okay, don't put so much acceleration into it, or you need a little more. That's virtually all it is, but it throws you off occasionally. Like, that one's a bitch. But yeah, I really made this boss out to be a lot harder than it actually was. Um, as you can tell, they took the first phase of the boss fight out for this zone, which I don't blame them for, because the first phase was kind of messed up as it was anyway. Um, and I don't really think that would work in tie-in too well with the whole um, theme they're going here. I think it would be a very awkward transition, probably. So, um, yep, there's the egg. I really died twice? Alright, I'm pretty positive I got it this time, so if not, then I'll edit this out. Um, so there he goes, he's running, and I thought I would have beat him by now, but now I've virtually lost all commentary I could have said in the time that it's taking this video to beat the boss. I don't, actually, I don't think he put mine, looking back, I do not remember any mines in, like, the original run in that gear zone, I don't think he threw any mines on the ground, like, well, I don't think they're actually mines or spikes or, yeah, this is, this is it, this is it, I beat him here. That blue one's really the bitch of the whole thing. It's like, throws you off with the jumping. But nothing we can't handle, so here we go to the final boss of the game. Um, like I said, this whole act took me 38 tries for a successful run. I'm gonna show one death here. I think the first... Not not the first, um, one of the first deaths I had against this guy. Um... No, not even one of the first, because I had to restock, so this is like my 20-something try defeating him. So I have, in this um, death that I have right here, it's, I have an idea of what I'm doing, but... Like, it's kind of weird, because 
the whole thing with this boss is, um, like, if you aim too high at him, when you hit him, you'll go flying backwards, so you want to get the undercarriage, but at the same time, if you get too low, sometimes it'll count as a hit against you, so it's really picky, and kind of was what was killing me most of the times there, so it kind of sucked. Um, like, this part, it's easy, you just don't hit him when his hands go up like I just did there, and this, see, like, and you can't go underneath him, that's the problem, and all the rings always happen to go over there, so that's the bitch. Hooray for jumpy cuts! Alright then, um, right here, this is the run where I'm pretty positive I do actually beat him. So, um, here basically, um, honestly what kills you mainly is, if you take your time and position everything right, you really shouldn't have any problem beating this guy, like he isn't as hard as you will originally make him out to be. But, nonetheless, he is probably the hardest boss in the game. And by the time you actually get around to beating him, you actually become really good at this game by the time you come around to beat him. So, yeah. Ultimately, the Final Egg Band boss doesn't really have many um, attacks, per se. He just has this whole lock-on sequence thing. And then he'll crash down, and then he'll walk at you, and then you can hit him. Um, and then he'll fly up and just repeat again. It's really not that hard of a sequence once you get the um, gist of it down. But, it will give you trouble at first, like I said, it took me, I don't know if 38 tries is exactly how many it took, but yeah. And by the way, sorry if the commentary gets kind of shoddy, because my video has gone to very laggy that I'm watching right now, so now my overlaying of audio isn't, like, it's not real, well, I'm watching the video, but it's all, it's ridiculously choppy, so it looks like I'm just looking at frames right now. It's gonna look fine for all of you, but for me, it's a very intolerable type of thing now, so I'm just gonna be generalistic. Remarks. Um, I really like doing real-time comedy more. Comedy? No. Commentary more. Oh wait, uh, right here. This is when, basically, if you hit him enough, this is the halfway mark of the fight. Um, basically he starts to get really mad, and he'll start doing this skippy thingy, and what you have to do is you have to spin dash underneath him, like that, and once you spin dash underneath him, then he'll fly up again and do the same thing as before, but once he crashes down, um, basically you have to wait, just run to the other side and wait, because then he'll shoot something at you. Well, I think it's part of his arm, the robot's arm. Well, basically once you shoot the robot's arm, move to the other side of it and then hit it, and it'll make you fly towards him as the arm flies towards him and de-electrifies him. So basically as he's de-electrified, just start wailing on him with ho homing attacks. No. But don't do more than two, otherwise, odds are you're probably going to get electrocuted. Um, yeah. Honestly, the real-time com commentary, though, I like that better because I have more legitimate reactions to everything, and I don't really like doing this whole strategic talking thing like I'm doing now, which is really all you have. There's no, like, legitimate reactions. Like, oh my god! Look, I just hit him in the ass again! Well, no, it's none of that, but, yeah. I really, it's very hard to keep track of what's going on right now because of how laggy this is. I literally, like, freed up all my system processes and did a cut that you guys didn't notice, and, like, whatchamacallit, it's not helping at all, so this is kind of being a bitch right now to commentate about. Like, I might not even know when he dies. It's gonna be terrible. Um, so yeah, this process is really tedious. After a while, he'll start shooting lasers at you and skip, and then start shooting pink beams in addition to the lasers. But really, if you just focus on avoiding them and then get hitting the robotic arm as it parachutes down, it's really not that difficult as I made it out to be. Like, it's difficult, don't get me wrong. It's difficult, but if you just take your time with it, and just stay determined, it's not that difficult of a fight. Like, it's difficult, but not that difficult. And, I think that was... No, it's not. I, I can never tell because of how laggy this is. Um, but yeah, we're, we're at the back end of this fight right now. It's about to end completely. Um, very long boss fight. That's basically the main gist. The, that's probably the hardest part of this, because you have to go through four, the four first bosses, then you have to go through this, and it's basically an, a giant endurance battle. If you can make it through this, it's... Well, the whole thing is, if you make... If the battle takes ten minutes, 
I mean, combined all five battles take ten minutes, then you're, like, screwed. So, just make sure you do two hits for each. And that is the game end. Eggman's dead, and we are running out. And that was my walkthrough for Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. I'm going to be getting Episode 2 later on, and I'll put it in the same playlist as this one. But that's that. That's Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Overall, um, really great game. Um, I, at first it feels like it's slow, but then once you get the gist of it, you realize it's the normal fast Sonic and shit. So, yeah, that's Sonic the Hedgehog 4. I'm going to be doing a review for it. It'll probably be out this weekend or so. Right now, without, like, thinking about it, it off the top of my head, it's probably going to be, like, an 8.5. That's what I'm feeling. Like. It might not be an 8.5, but right now it feels like an 8.5. And I am going to shut up for the credits right now, but 15 bucks on Xbox Live Arcade, PSN, and WiiWare. Not really many differences between the three versions, unless you get the iPhone version, which I wouldn't recommend. The only thing difference there is it's 5 bucks cheaper, and it's an iPhone, and you really probably wouldn't want to deal with that. So yeah, that's Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Um, hope you enjoyed the walkthrough, and till next time, I'm Matt Golden from GamersCast, and I'll catch you next time.